So I've done other videos in the past on anxiety during perimenopause and menopause, and I focus more on kind of the mindfulness side of it, the, the thoughts, the meditation, those types of things. In this video though, I wanted to really put the attention on how much our emotional state, emotional health is dependent on our physical health. So we've all heard of the mind-body connection, and basically all this is saying is that when you're physically feeling well, typically you're emotionally going to feel well. When you're emotionally feeling well, your physical body's going to feel well. And the opposite can go um, true too. When you're feeling anxious and stressed and worried, you're producing chemicals in your body that are weakening your physical body through inflammation and weakening your digestion, increasing your pain levels. And then for example, I've had this experience before. If I'm having a day where I'm kind of physically in pain, if I've had um, bloating, it's really hard to feel happy and healthy and confident emotionally if I'm like, oh, my stomach hurts. And so that's just a very simple example of how connected our mind and our body is. So I just wanted to go over a few, and I know they're obvious, but just a good reminder of what can we do physically to help manage anxiety. So here are a few questions. Am I drinking enough water? Am I getting enough exercise? Am I getting too much exercise? Because this can deplete us. Am I nourishing my body with healthy, fresh, unprocessed food? This is a big one because the food we put into our body is how we're going to feel emotionally. If we're putting healthy, fresh food in, we're going to have a much better chance of feeling healthy and fresh emotionally. So those are, oh, and the last one is, am I prioritizing sleep? You know, the sleep has such a, a huge impact on our emotional state. I, I know for a fact when I used to not be able to sleep very well, my anxiety was quite high. If I had a poor night's sleep, I, <laughs> I could have easily guessed that the next day my anxiety was going to be worse. When I started sleeping better, nourishing my body with better food, drinking more water, moving my body, getting outside, I was happier and healthier. So the two are so closely tied. So I hope that helps you. And just know that if you are experiencing anxiety at this time of life, there are practical ways to help reduce it. And this is just one way to come at it is through the physical side.